This is Dr. Bob Hoffman, and I have the pleasure to interview and talk today to a dear friend, an uh, icon in the chiropractic profession, and the father of neurologically based chiropractic, Dr. Richard Barwell. Richard, thank you so much for giving up some of your precious time to be on a conversation with me today. It's always a pleasure to, to talk with you and to share information with you. Thank you. We've had hundreds of conversations over the years and they've always been extremely fruitful and extremely effective and helped the profession and the people we both serve grow. So I always appreciate our talks. So the theme of our super conference this year is timely wisdom and timely research. And um, it will be taking place in Orlando, Florida, November 2nd, 3rd and 4th. And you get to present at that. Could you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be presenting and why people should be interested in hearing that? Yeah, uh, thank you very much for the honor of, of being able to present a super conference. It's always one of the, the, uh, the top programs that, that I, on my list for sure. Uh, this year I want to talk about uh, eight considerations. Here, here's one of the challenges that I have found in the years of, of being in the profession is that we tend to be sheep. Uh, we're, we're still doing things that were a hundred years ago were sort of the mainstream and we, we really sort of have fallen into that. Even the schools fall into that. They teach the same programs over and over again. Uh, I was just watching a, a clip from the Dead Poet Society, which is one of my favorite movies. And there's a, a clip in there where he has them in the courtyard and he starts four of them out to walk around in a circle. And before long, they're all in stride with one another and the rest of them that are watching are all clapping in rhythm with the with the steps and he points out saying guess what you've all fallen into the same trap and that's sort of what's happened in the profession over the years one of the great things that, I, that in my life in in the profession was the talk that you and i had in in birmingham england and we've talked about this before in some of the calls but it was a moment of, of truth where we we both realized that we had a job to do and the job to do was stepping out of line and starting to bring something new to the profession so what i really want to do with this presentation is that i have eight considerations i want to start to get the the profession thinking again not just following like sheep but actually thinking about what they're talking about and what the profession really does. And so we're going to go through these eight considerations Love and it. we're going to get them to think about it. And then near the end, I'm going to show how they can take that information and start to apply it to change in their practice and in the profession. Love it. Listen, you know I love it. First, I love you and I, <laughs> I've loved every presentation I've ever heard from you. But you know that in our coaching, that's what we teach. You know, I, I don't want doctors to show up in their office just doing what they did yesterday. And I don't want doctors showing up in their office with not a single thought or a goal or objective in their mind. They have to think, they have to adapt, they have to course correct if necessary. That's part of the secret of growth. It's part of the secret of healing. You know, in chiropractic philosophy 101 is when we adapt we're in a state of ease. When we fail to adapt, we move to a state of dis-ease. Like you, I believe the chiropractic profession is in a state of dis-ease, and I guarantee the vast majority of the doctors watching and listening to this interview, their practice is in a state of dis-ease because they just keep doing what they've always done and not marching to the beat of their own drummer or doing things that are uncomfortable or thinking on their feet. So I agree with you. Now. Richard, you've been to many super conferences over the years. Just could you share with the people watching and listening to this what your experience or what your your collective thoughts are about super conference in general for the for the profession? One of the reasons that I love coming back to, to anything that the master circle put on, but especially the super conference, is because your coaching has this is a different group. And you can't explain that to people until they come and experience what's going on. Uh, I, I lecture around the world, as you know, and I run across that wall of going, I go in and I talk to them and they look at me like, well, that's interesting, but I, I don't know what to do with it. That doesn't happen with the super conference or with the master circle group. These guys are ready for change. And it's always so much fun. Last year's super conference, you blew the lid off of conferences as far as I'm concerned. That was just one hit after another after another. And Heidi in there was just, of course, she always just gets me going. I love where she comes from. But that's 
it's it's such a great energy, and I know that that group of yours has taken on the, the concepts of neurologically based chiropractic, and we're changing the world. We are truly changing the world, and we're changing the profession. So, and I want to thank you for your level of commitment to this because it's it's critical. Well, thank you, Richard. And you're right. You know, for me, you know, this kind of started this transition, this transformation to a neurological model, which quite honestly is our history and our heritage. We just lost track of it. When you and I accidentally, serendipitously bumped into each other at the same seminar in Birmingham, England, five or six years ago. And for me, I can only speak for me, Richard, it set me off on a whole different tangent. And um, as I started to learn more about neurology and as I started to learn more about brain function and as I started to learn more about how the adjustment actually normalizes and maximizes brain function, when I got to see real time people hooked up to the neuro infinity, what you brought to the marketplace, and I could see how their brain function actually goes from a sympathetic state, a stress survival state, to a parasympathetic healing state, it was an eye-opening experience for me. And as I continue to learn more and share this with doctors, quite frankly, I had to reinvent the chiropractic model of practice. <laughs> we had, you know, you you talked about changing the conversation, but I actually had to change it because yeah. most of the neurologists in the profession were still talking over people's head, not to their hearts for understanding. And most of them were still asking questions in their case history that were 50 or more years old and weren't performing the test to actually evaluate function. And even how they adjusted needed to be changed regardless of what te technique. And we had to change the business model. And honestly, over these last five or six years, and I'm extraordinarily proud of it, and you're the one who initiated it primarily, is we literally had to reinvent chiropractic practice. And one of the things that I am beyond excited about and can't wait to share from the stage at Super Conference in Orlando is the fact that we've now tested this new model, this new conversation, this new business skill and marketing plan with literally dozens and dozens of chiropractors around the world with astonishing results. So we know it works. And I believe, as you believe, that if we can get more chiropractors to get this, to understand this, to speak this, to practice this, we'll get better results than ever before, more sustainable results, more miracles than ever before. The practices will grow faster, are more sustainable, more profitable. The doctor's confidence goes through the roof. Everybody's the winner in this. There's just there's a couple of points I want to add to that because it's it that's the, the facts that's the way it is. Uh, out of all the the coaching groups and, and believe me, over the years I tried to talk to all the coaching groups over there. You're the only group that stopped and said, "Wait a minute, we got to find out what's going on here." And so the rest of them are still teaching the same stuff. And I just saw one today that that was on a. A live session, those, and they drive me crazy, those live sessions, because they're, they're just like on a soapbox. And he's talking about how to become a millionaire. I'm going, that that's not the important part. The important part is the service. I truly believe that if you give people what they want, you'll get what you want, but you've got to give first. That's right. If you're in, you can't be focused on the money end of it and say, that's all we need to worry about. No, no, get the service. That's going to provide the longevity for the profession and for your practice. And that's what I find that happens with the Master Circle Group. I think your focus is, is dead on on what we need to be doing first in order to Thank get you. where we want to go. Thank you. Thank you. So great program this year includes you. We're bringing Heidi Hobbit back. Guy Reekman's oh, on the great. program. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> We're bringing Guy Reekman's on the program. Dan Sullivan is on the program. I mean, and I, there's a whole list. At the bottom of this um, podcast, there will be a link that will take you right to the landing page. But it's November 2, 3, and 4. I wish the people watching this will clear their schedule, register, and plan to attend. I know, and obviously you know, Richard, it is a life-changing, practice-altering experience that 
you know, we all go to a lot of seminars and they're all filled with lots of good information and lots of good com camaraderie, but we go back to our practices and we're basically the exact same person before with maybe a little more energy for a day or two. Uh, not yeah. super conference. This is a game changer for people and I hope people will plan to attend. And I, I want more people to get to hear you and experience you. You are a gem and an icon and a dear friend and a thought leader. And this is what our profession has been missing for the last 20 or 30 or 40 years or longer. And it's time for us to really think more clearly, as you said, and go back to our roots but with new technology and new research and new understanding because it's so ridiculously easy to make a huge difference and to succeed today. And most of our colleagues aren't even aware of that. Yeah, and the change is not hard. The change is really very straightforward and easy because in our hearts, we all know we're neurologically based. We just didn't have the right information to start with. And your dialogues that you've come up with and, and your application and practice just makes it a breeze. And, we, and you and I know the people that are succeeding out there with all this because we're both in, we're in touch with both of them. And they're setting the world on fire. Yeah. Thank you very much for saying that. Thank you very much for today, your precious time. And I can't wait to see you in Orlando and get to share some more growth and more epiphanies and um, inspiration, but seeing our colleagues get that big idea. And um, that's what it's all about, Richard. So thank you so much. My pleasure.